What is up guys, it's Yuri here, and today I have for you uh, the only deck profile I'm going to do for stuff that got buffed and not directly a new deck from any of the new Legion sets. Uh, everyone's favorite or least favorite depending on how you like the era or of the reign, uh, Mr. MLB himself. So uh, MLB got the deck got two buffs pretty much, but they did get new cards to go with, with the deck. So without further ado, uh, let's show the deck list. So this is the list that I've been uh, playing around with. Uh, uh, just thing, uh, it's cool that the, that, the, um, that the deck got uh, buffs, or I guess unnerfs and buffs. Uh, unnerf being the Wingle Brave, uh, because before it was uh, CB2, so it created through a higher blaster. Now they reverted the card back to what its original tech was, being um, uh, when a blaster boosted, you CB1 to search any blaster from your deck to your hand. So pre nerf Wingle Brave. Uh, so uh, there's that, and Escopate also got buffed. We'll talk about that when we get to him. But uh, yeah, the deck just got some, obviously, some buffs and, un and unnerfs, uh, but. The deck did get some cool little like extra toys to play with that I think are pretty good and we will go over that as we go over the deck list. Without further ado, let's start. So first off, the starter is the Wingle Brave, like I said before. It's back to what it used to be. When it, when it attacked, that it, it attack, it boosts a blaster hits. CB1, put it in its soul. Search your deck for any blaster, so now you can search any of your pieces. So if you're missing MLB, you can search that. If you're missing a blaster play, you can search that. If you're missing Jurassic Dark, you can search that. And if you have all your pieces, you can you can use that search to search for an exculpate which you can use as for a finisher later in the game so definitely a best starter now uh great ones uh four pgs uh i'm playing the secret one just because it might matter with since i'm playing exceed in the deck as well but uh realistic speaking this can be anything you want uh but i'm playing this because exceed calls seekers and if i it's just emergency need a booster with exceed skill and i ride it i can call the pg if i really need to and uh same reason why i why uh secret name i'm playing one of um this dude I think it's like is Ix Blizzard or something like that. I don't fucking know his name, nor do I care. His skill is uh, okay, I guess, on uh, on play Vanguard and Legion plus 4K, so he could be a solo attacker, but he's really here just to be a name that I could call with XEO if I need to. And the other great ones, for Leon, uh, tap self to drop a card, draw a card. Uh, just helps you filter for pieces and stuff, help you filter dead cards out of your hand later, they can maybe Legion back. Just this, this deck it was never known for its good grade one lineup, so. Lean in is kind of what the best you got, so you're gonna kind of have to play her. And, but a good card that we did get is uh, this dude. Um, I don't remember his name, but his skill is Soul Blast 2 draw a card. So you empty your soul out for maybe Legion, just but uh, you Soul Blast 2 to draw a card. This deck, all your great ones sucked before. Now you have a great one that actually pluses you, which is pretty nice. So yeah, uh, again, it, it just kind of conflicts with MLB needing your stuff in soul, but you just kind of don't use the skill if you need to keep, we want to keep the Blast Card and play in soul for the uh, 12k base. So yeah. That's it for the great ones. Great twos, uh, Mr. Blaster Dark himself, Mr. Blaster Depression. This card is terrible, but you're kind of forced to play it because it is required to do MLB's thing of the sucky sucky for the crit and the and the and the power. So kind of forced to play it. Uh, both their Vanguard skills. Uh, first skill is straight up irrelevant. Second skill is pretty much irrelevant. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, this card is a 9k vanilla. Uh, next up, uh, not the 9k vanilla, is a uh, Blaster Blade, so uh, Vanguard Rear on place, CB2, pop a great to our lower, or great to our higher, sorry, great to our higher. Uh, Gantz target, part of the MLB sucky sucky thing, and uh, and now it also serves extra duty as Exceeve's Legion mate, because as, as you can see, I'm not playing Blaster Blade Seeker, so Exceeve here only Legions with Blaster Blade, so. Uh, serves like three roles in the deck, um, Exceeve's Legion mate, MLB's like soul, and uh, Gantz lost search target, so pretty, pretty. Again, like uh, like any pretty much every roll pal deck is still just pick your flavor of Gansla Blaster Blade, and obviously the deck's still gonna play. Next up, three of the uh, Star Call Star Call Trumpeter uh, on play CB2 search your deck for a Grade Two or lower Blaster. So uh, helps you fetch your pieces Blaster Blade Blaster Dark if you're missing them and 8K and just 8K intercept. So yeah, play it for consistency. And finally, the last thing is the. Grade 2 dude, uh, this dude is a seeker name, so again, he's here to help you uh, search. He's here to be searched by um, uh, Exceed if you need to, but uh, he actually does have a relevant skill. His skill is uh, uh, on hit, a Vanguard rear, on hit the Vanguard, CB1, check top 5, add a grade 3 or higher from your deck to your hand, from, from among those to your hand, so. And help you dig for MLB, help you dig for Exceed, help you dig for Gansel to turn to Blaster Blades, help you dig for Exculpate. You, oh, your entire deck is pretty relevant grade 3 search targets, or so. Uh, Definitely nice that he is a secret name and he has double duty to help you search your stuff. So yeah, pretty pretty good card. I think this card definitely is the best secret name you can play just to uh, fulfill, just to have something you search with XC if you need to. And finally, the grade threes. 
everyone's favorite, Mr. Solitary Knight Gansalon. Uh, first skill is pretty much relevant. It's a Vanguard skill. Blast Plane Soul, CB2, Fraff, and a Crit. Sometimes it comes up, but they're playing him for the put him from de hand to deck. Two search your deck for a Blaster Blade, Recyclable Heal, search tutors for Blaster Blade, which is a part of your combo for MLB, and puts a heal back in the deck. So, very, very good card. You're, you're playing Royal Pallet, you're probably playing Gansalon. And, um, Next up, everyone's favorite old boss monster, Majesty Lord Blaster, MLB, the mo original Monkey. Uh, his skill is if you have a Blaster Blade and a Blaster Dark and Soul, he gets plus 2k permanently. Or 2k, he gets 2k in this book during both players' turn times the 12k base. And um, uh, on attack, you can suck in a Blaster Blade and a Blaster Dark. So this fulfills the soul condition for 10k, and he permanently puts his, and he puts his crit to perma 2. So permanently puts his crit to 2. So yeah, uh, permanent two crit vanguard uh, gets 10k to scale on that turn and sucks in for the two 12k base. So yeah, he's just a big, a really big monkey, as uh, some people may say. So yeah, uh, still, um, first first main ride the deck uh, still does MLB things. You you ride MLB, you swing them to like four or five, and then you ride something else try to kill them or you try to kill them afterwards. Yeah. And then uh, the one of is Escapade. So this card did get buffed. I only own one, but I don't think I play more than one just because it is searchable with the Wingle Brave and. It really only does fill the role as a finisher. I do value having the Legion more as a backup right and as like an alternative right later on in the game. Uh, what Escalade skill is, um, if you don't have a Blaster Blade in Soul, he cannot attack. And if you do have a Blaster Blade in Soul, you can uh, CB3 to give him the following two skills. When this unit attacks, it attacks everything on their board. So a full board attack. And at the end of the battle that attack, you uh, empty out your soul, I think. You empty out your soul and you ride a Blaster, you know, you ride a blaster Blade from your soul, a stand. Draw a card and you empty out your soul. So uh, since they're at the stand now, you actually get four. If just say, just say they're at five, you actually get four attacks now to face because you go uh, exculpate, uh, kill everything on the board, including their intercepts. You rewrite blast play a stand, and then now you have that's one PG check, and then you have uh, three other lanes that can swing. So four attacks to face, and then his last skill is uh, from hand. If you Vanguard's a grade three blaster, you can call him from hand. Uh, something to note here. Uh, you can only be called if you're in this deck in specific if your Vanguard is MLB, because MLB is a grade three blaster. But if you're in Legion with a blaster plate, you cannot call it because uh, Escopi specifically asks for a grade three blaster. And uh, well, while you're in Legion, Blaster Blade is a grade two blaster, and Exceed does not have blaster in name. So that's not how. So uh, just something to note: if you're on Exceed, you cannot actually call it Escopi. So just something to know. And then finally, Exceed. Legions with Blaster Blade or Blaster Blade Seeker, since we're only playing Blaster Blade, he only reached the Blaster Blade. And then, um, uh, his skill is during your turn, uh, if you're in Legion State, he, he, get, uh, he gets 1k per Seeker Rear rather that you have. And if you have 5 or more Rears total, because plus 1 crit, doesn't require you to have Seeker Rears for the crit. And since this deck pretty much doesn't play any Seeker Rear except for like, 3 cards, uh, this card is... The power is good for irrelevant, he just gets crit on a full board, and then CB2 to call any Seeker from deck to... They'll call any secret from deck, and then it gets the skill, cannot be retired by card effects. So, backup ride, uh, extra crit pressure, uh, superior call that, that gives you anti retire. Just a nice extra card to have. I think Thing Saver is god awful terrible in this deck. Don't Please don't play Thing Saver. Uh, Exceed does have the niche of just being an extra crit monkey that um, that doesn't require you sucking cards if you need to intercept for, for other reasons instead, and is bigger, so it actually scales on like MLB. So, yeah, so it is just nice to have. Please, just, just trust me when I say Exceed is better than Thingsaver. Please don't play Thingsaver. Uh, Escalpate is just a better finisher overall in this deck. Yeah. Uh, that's it for the deck profile for this uh, returning deck with some new toys and new buffs and un unnerfs. So yeah, uh, tell me guys if you're excited about uh, MLB uh, coming back, uh, quote unquote. It's definitely an okay deck. It's definitely a playable deck right now. Um, so tell me guys what you think with the deck. If you're excited for MLB, like and subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.